I recently posted a video in regards to the RSI plus stochastic strategy for Quadex, and you guys asked me to go ahead and post the same video for pocket option as well. So in this specific video, this is what we're going to talk about. So the pocket option strategy that I'm going to talk to you to talk to you about right now is a one minute strategy and it's extremely, extremely easy to use. So the first thing that you guys have to do is actually, if you are not in pocket option and you want to get a free account with them, the link will be in the description of this video, but Hey, what is pocket option? So pocket option is a binary options broker that what it does is that it helps you guys to just trade binary options in a secure environment. It is a binary options broker that is available worldwide and it's got indicators, it's got good payouts, it's got all the options that you want to, all the assets that you want to trade with. And of course, it's 100% trusted for withdrawals. So if you want to get this same broker that I'm using right now, the link will be in the description of this video and you can follow along. Go ahead and pause the video, open your account, and then follow me along when I'm actually setting up all the things in regards to this specific strategy. So go ahead and do that and then come back in order to set the strategy. All right, so this is how the chart is actually going to look for you if you just open your account and you're ready to start going. So the first thing that we're gonna do is actually set the candlesticks to, there you go, to candles, and then you're gonna set the S30. S30 is super important. Why? Because that basically means that every single candlestick is going to be for 30 seconds. Okay. Second thing that you got to make sure is that you have the enable timer button right here. If you in the, like disabled it, then you're going to realize that the, the little like timer next to the candlestick actually disappears. So if you enable it, then you're going to see that it says S30 and you got a few seconds going on right here. So that's the first thing that you got to do. Second thing that you got to do is actually add two indicators. The first indicator, and you go to indicators right here, the first indicator is actually called RSI, and is this baby right here, you click on it, and the second one's called Stochastic Oscillator, okay? Beautiful. Now, you're gonna go to this little pencil right here for edit, and you're gonna make sure this is in 14, it's fine, and you gotta make sure that the levels are 70, 50, and 30. It, even this one is not even necessary, so you can just disable it. But 70 and 30 should be the actual levels, okay? Super, super important. You can even add a little bit more thickness if you want to, uh, you know, to see it right. There you go. And then there's a little arrow right here that you I like to click so that I can see a lot more the indicator. Then you're gonna go and do the exact same thing on the pencil button right there on the awesome oscillator or the stochastic oscillator. The period of 14, uh, this one, you don't really touch it, it's not necessary. And then here, you're gonna make sure that the level is 80 and 20, okay? And you can do the exact same thing. Add a little bit of thickness so that you can see it a little better. And here is another arrow. So what is it that you're gonna do with this specific strategy? It's actually pretty darn simple. The strategy itself will follow and show you some overbought and oversold conditions. What I mean by overbought and oversold conditions is when the price actually goes too far away on upper direction that's an overbought, okay? Too many people are buying it. So it, the price is actually likely to start dropping, just like it did right here, boom, it dropped, okay? That's basically what the indicators do, but they do it in a different way. The first indicator, RSI, actually whenever the, the RSI indicator touches, just touches any of the levels, it means that there's gonna be a retraction going on. And when the stochastic oscillator, when the price goes over the level, that basically means that the price will actually start going on the opposite direction, okay? This goes for both sides, meaning it can go for a buy position like it happened right here. It touched and boom, the price retracted. But, and right here as well, is an oversold. Now, what is it that you need to find with this specific strategy? You need to find a combination of the two indicators going overbought or going oversold and then you can enter a one minute position. As simple as that. Now, uh, let me just go ahead and find an example. There you go. Here is a perfect example. Take a look at it. It touched the level and it crossed the level as well. So what this did is that it basically told us, hey, you know what? At this specific point, when the RSI actually got touched, then you enter a one position at the end of this candle, meaning at this one, and it finished right here. So that basically means what? That we won the position. Pretty simple, right? Now, one thing that you gotta make sure is that uh, you gotta enter at the moment 
that the, R, the uh, stochastic oscillator is going to cross. Now, you're going to realize right here that there is a crossover. There's two different lines on the stochastic oscillator, and they're about to cross, such as right here, for instance. Take a look at it. This basically means that the price is going to cross. And it's actually super close to the RSI, so we should have waited at least until it touches and then we could enter, but the mechanic is exactly the same. You can see that right now that it's about to cross, it's actually forming a few red candles. That means that the price is actually dropping. If you notice at the moment of the cross, this right here, it was a red candle. So we won the position, right? Now, again, you gotta wait for the confirmation of the two things going on. For instance, right now, the price continues to jump. The RSI hasn't been touched yet, but once it touches and this price is completely over a bot, then that's when we enter a one minute position. Just as simple as that. Now, in the previous video, I actually showed you, uh, I actually showed you the strategy on Quotex. Uh, honestly, I didn't trade today because there are, there were just three bull news around what, like 20 minutes ago? Yeah, 20 minutes ago. So I'm not going to trade right now, but it's super important for me to act for me to, that you guys actually see a few like trades in regards to it. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you a couple of like trades that I shared with you uh, from Quotex so that you pretty much get to see the idea. The strategy is exactly the same, so it doesn't make a huge difference, but it's going to make my point and you're going to be able to understand exactly how is it that I place those trades. So let's go ahead and take a look at those live trades. Awesome. So now you pretty much get a better idea as to how this strategy actually works. I promise you, I'm going to make some live sessions with pocket option. As soon as that news are over, probably within one hour. And then in the next video, I'm going to show them to you, but super important that we answer this question, pocket option or Quadex, Cause I showed you guys the pretty much the trades over there on Quadex, but I'm showing you the strategy over here, but this is because I already posted a video in regards to the stock stochastic, um, oscillator over there in Quadex, and then I'm showing you again the same strategy on pocket options. So I'm not going to get this question. And the answer is whatever is suitable for you. One thing that you got to realize is that if you're in a country where there are not many brokers available for you, for instance, the US, Canada, India, Nigeria, then you just got to make sure that you use the broker that is available for you. I know for fact, because there are comments on my other videos saying that pocket option is available in the US. I'm not in the US, so I'm not sure. I know for sure that Quotex is accepting US traders. So I'm not 100% like, I'm not, you know, I'm in between. Does that make sense? So what you gotta do is actually make sure that you use the broker that you are looking for. Okay, that's the most important thing that you get the broker that you are actually looking for uh, and the one that is suitable for you. Both of them are actually good. So you can choose whatever you want to. The link to both of the brokers are in the description of this video. Now, one thing that you have to avoid when you're using this specific strategy is the following, and that is over trading. For some reason, there's a lot of people who are actually over trading with this strategy, meaning they're placing two, four, five positions at once. 
And I've, I've done it before, but I'm actually, I'm an expert trader, so I know what I'm doing. And most of the times I end up winning a bunch of trades at once, but that might not be the case for you. For instance, this baby right here, I'm going to enter just to see if I can win it live. Um, I should have waited for a small drop right here because otherwise I'm not going to get to the crossover. But right here you can see, right? So what you need to avoid first is over trading. Second is actually entering at the moment that I just entered right here because you need to wait at, up until the crossover. For instance, you can enter on the next candle, oh, I meaning this one that I just is starting to get formed. And in, in terms of probability, it's actually going to give you a lot more chances to win the position. It's not guaranteed but it's going to give you more chances to actually win that position. One thing that you should keep in mind is that the strategy itself, it's not 100%. It's, as a matter of fact, there is no 100% strategy, but it will give you at least 70 to 80% accuracy when you're doing it wrong. So when you do it right, it actually can give you like 90, 95% accuracy. You guys have seen some sessions that I've had where I had 100% accuracy with even like 20 different strategies. For instance, this one, I just, uh, uh, different, 20 different trades. I just won this position, but I know what I'm doing. So if you're a complete beginner, one thing that you should avoid is over trading. And the second one is actually chasing trades, but practice this on demo until you master it and you're going to be good to go. Question of the day, what broker are you using? Using to use this specific strategy? Let me know in the comment section below. I want to make sure where I need to uh, create more videos, whether it's Quotex or whether it's Pocket Option, and I'm going to be reading your comments. So, hey, if you enjoyed the content of this video, make sure you smash the like button to support it. And more importantly, if you guys have any questions or comments to share, you can always use the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.